The next tool we're going to be talking about is actually a window. Um, this is the labs tool down in the corner here. If you click this, you're going to see we have a little slide out panel uh, that has two tools in it, parent and trim. So labs is actually going to be constantly updated and growing. Uh, we already have two more tools coming out shortly. Uh, so you'll get an update from that. Uh, you can either download the update or if you have auto update turned on, it'll just show up in your panel and uh, you can start using the cool new tools. So um, we'll take a look at what the lab screen does, but do expect the lab screen to grow and change. Uh, so we're going to do uh, basically some automated parent chaining because that can be pretty annoying when you're setting up character rigs and some kinds of relationships. So instead of using the pick whip, um, we're going to do a faster way where we just select the layers we want holding shift. Um, so they are selected in an order. We're going to go to labs, click parent, and we're going to say we want to go up the way we came from or down the way you came from. And you're going to see that our parent chain is automated and all set up. So from there, once you have your chain, you could go and select a property like rotation and put that into the Midas system. Once again, we'll just turn on dynamics for a quick example, uh, how this can work. And you're going to see that we can quickly get a really cool, um, very lifelike uh, relationship and overlap and kind of delayed system that you can do a lot, a lot with when you start playing with stuff like, once again, delay, drag, magnetism, uh, any of the many properties. So on this one, I might turn up and give my hand here a little bit more or less delay and turn up the intensity. And you're gonna see I now have this kind of cool, fully automated system that's just built from a simple chain. So this works for a lot of stuff. Once again, a very basic example, uh, but that is the uh, lab's parent option. So the next one we're gonna look at is the trim. Uh, this is a pretty short little option. We'll go over it uh, really quick. So uh, right here, we're gonna just draw a line, uh, maybe use a color as well. Select your thing, maybe turn off your fill, and we have a line. So what, what I'll do is actually grab position and scale, grab those properties, uh, click an echo, and we're going to put these into a comp with a key um, for eight copies. And we're going to call this our echo line, or, <laughs> or our echo line. I should definitely retype that one. And then we're going to go on over to our position scatter and change our X and Y ranges um, to uh, some cool random values here and go through our seed. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do to make this example cool is go on into our children layer here. Uh, just select all of our children, go into labs and click trim. And what it's gonna do is actually add the uh, trim paths effect to all the selected layers. So from there you could do something like selecting the trim paths, selecting some children, uh, running Midas and then you have all your effect controls and you can go and do some stuff with like your scatter offsets, which we'll just kind of randomize right here. Um, and then you can go and either do your live animations or you can set up some dynamic animations or uh, yeah, you can just have a good time. But what we did is scatter the offset. So that means like all these lines are going to have basically different starting points, uh, which is a pretty sweet. And you can do once again stuff with the delays, the drags, uh, different kind of magnetism percentages. Uh, but yeah, uh, system gets very, very fun. So look for more tools landing to labs, but they're basically these little helpers. So anyway, in a nutshell, this was Midas. Uh, we had some basic examples in these last couple videos, and in the future, we'll do some really cool projects and live streams. So if you ever have any questions, stop by the live streams. If you have your options, messages, streams enabled or experiments, uh, you'll get a little notification and the example that we're working on that day. So anyway, thanks so much for checking out the tool. Please go download the trial. Uh, it's a seven day free trial, no strings attached. You don't even have to sign up or do anything. Uh, so just go check that out and I hope you enjoy it. And if you are interested, um, go buy it. Uh, so thanks so much again and uh, yeah, I'll see you around. Peace.